Traditional economics holds that individuals are largely responsible for their own successes and failures. But this model isn't helpful for understanding persistent inequality. Its only explanation for poverty is that people who remain poor are deficient in some way, lacking what's called human capital. Attributes that are economically valuable, such as motivation, intelligence, education, and experience. This means disparities between groups are treated as logical outcomes, stemming from the group on the bottom having dysfunctional behaviors and an anti-achievement culture, what the sociologist William Ryan called blaming the victim. Stratification economics, a theory pioneered by Duke economist William Darity Jr., explains how economic inequality can be an ongoing, persistent state brought about by sustained structural racism. Stratification economics suggests that social groups partitioned by race, gender, ethnicity, and other differentiators arising from historical conditions influence our status and our well-being. Members of dominant groups frequently don't tend to think of themselves as part of an identity group because their group is seen as the norm. But when members of a dominant social group exercise power and preference toward their own group, other groups are inequitably disadvantaged. One example is redlining, in which white lenders discriminatorily denied or overpriced mortgages to black borrowers, which segregated neighborhoods and compounded inequality. Another is discrimination in the hiring process that has caused unemployment to be consistently twice as high for black Americans. Dominant groups have a material interest in maintaining their position of relative privilege. As a result, when members of marginalized groups accumulate higher quantities and qualities of human capital, they still can experience the economic penalties caused by discrimination indefinitely. The transmission of wealth to the next generation is the most significant factor determining economic success. Over time, disparities in groups' abilities to transfer resources across generations drive and perpetuate economic inequality. Stratification economics holds that public policies such as reparations for black descendants of persons enslaved in the United States or an economic bill of rights that includes a federal job guarantee and national health insurance are essential to produce more equitable economic outcomes for all.